Last thing to talk about, when you guys go four out, one in in the post, a lot of times you're just sitting on the weak side, waiting for the ball to get reversed. Now the defense is always in perfect position that way. So when the ball gets reversed, you're trying to step in, duck in, you know, make a swim move, step in, ball gets reversed. He's in that position. He knows where you're at. He doesn't have to worry about, you know, fighting you for position. If it's four out, one in, and you know that defender's playing between you and the basket, I can get him off balance by coming to the basketball. So I might use a move as far as use a swim move or a spin move coming to the ball, just get that defender off balance. Now it might be a little bit easier to get a little bit more of an angle on him. So as I'm coming now, I'm always just sitting on that weak side waiting for it. The defender's always going to be right here. He's not having to move or react. So, so now, the way you can do that is if I don't get it here and he's sitting right here on me, that ball gets reversed. He still might be somewhat tight to you, but this is where when the ball starts to get reversed, I can set him up. Go up high. He's going to go probably body to body with me or arm to arm me. I can go and stay low, and now I can get him off balance a little bit. So now he's not getting a feel for just being directly behind me. So if I can get him off balance, and I might be taking him up high here, let him come up here. And now if I can get him off balance and beat him to a spot, he's going to have to run. And now this is where I might be able to catch him and quickly turn, or if he's trying to beat me to this spot, I can make him go back around. So again, coming to the ball, okay, a lot of times we talk about sitting on the weak side and ducking in, but if they're always right here, there's the ball on the home side when it gets swung around, you step in, they're right here. It doesn't matter. They know where you're at. But now, if I have to worry about you going up high, he's here, bumping in, and now you might go and finish in a little bit closer just to get him off balance. So coming to the ball might be an option to think about as well, instead of always sitting on that weak side where the defender knows where you're at, and when that ball gets reversed, he's sitting right behind you. So we can maybe get him moving a little bit by faking high, going low, and actually going to the ball and thinking opposite of what we have been doing. And again, it might be every once in a while, I'm letting him guard me ball side, so when the ball gets swung and now I'm on the weak side, I can set him up, maybe just to get him moving one direction, just to get him off balance without the ball. So scoring without the ball, getting that defender off balance, I might fake low to go high, I might fake high to go low. And again, it might, it might work once or twice a game where I get him off balance and you get your quick pivot, turn and score. You know, but again, that might just be an easier way to get open and get the ball and score without having to bang face up or anything like that.